assalamu alaikum lesson number 8 the oil man and the tiger a poor oil man lived with his large family in a small hut in the middle of a forest he was a woodcutter his sons and daughters were very young his wife was busy cooking cleaning washing and looking after the children she could not help him earn money every day the old man went deep into the forest and chopped wood he gathered the wood tied in the bundle and carried it on donkey to nearby a village market he sold the wood and bought food for his family one day when the old man was busy at work he heard a loud growl he put down his axe and stood very still he was afraid of ghost and thought to himself oh dear me if that is a ghost it may do me some harm he was very frightened just then a large tiger came out from a bushes thought be frightened oil man said the tiger i want harm you you work very hard sit down and rest for for why and let me do your work the old man was surprised he did not know that tigers could talk and what's more this tiger was offering to help him how kind you are your tiger he said the old man rested under a tree and while the tiger worked soon all the wood was cut the old man and the tiger tied the wood into a bundle and loaded it on donkey back the old man thanked the tiger and went off to sell the wood the next day the tiger arrived and helped the old man again this went on for some weeks on one day after their work was finished the tiger lay down and rested his head in a old man lap the old man stroked the tiger fine coat the tiger purred like a cat He looked up into the old man's eyes and and asked, "Am I handsome?" "Oh, yes indeed," replied the old man. "You are very handsome." "Am I strong?" asked the tiger. "Yes, of course." "Yes, are you are extremely strong," replied the old man. "Am I young and full of energy?" as asked the tiger. Yes, yes," replied the old man. "You certainly are." Aside, the tiger, I have all the graces. You surely do," said the old man. "But do you know you have one fault? Your skin stains. You are certainly very smelly. So, if you don't mind, please take your head off my lap." My wife will throw me out if I smell like you. The tiger immediately stopped purring. He got up and bought the axe. Come, come, take this axe, my friend. Strike me on the back," said the tiger. "Oh no," said the old man. "I can't possibly hurt you." but i wish it said the tiger and he began to growl the old man did not know what to do so he shrugged his shoulder lifted the axe and then bowed shoulder and then bowed in down on the tiger back a worm about Two fingers deep, open near the tiger's back, and the blood dripped out. 
It made a tiger coat red and sticky. The tiger went off into the forest and the old man took his wood to the market. The next day the old man went about his work. The tiger came and watched his from a distance but but said nothing. The old man began to feel frightened. Time went by and then one day the tiger suddenly sprang out from behind a bush to add the old man. He said, look at my back, old man, what can you see now? The old man looked carefully but he, he could not find the axe phone. It is here. He exclaimed. There is no mark there. Yes, replied the tiger. The wand has hit. But your heart's words has stayed in my heart. That can never be heard. I will always remember what you said about his sticking skin. You must not leave the forest or I sh shall eat up. And with, the, and with that he gave an animal's roar. The old man left the forest and from that day he feared all tigers. Other men too are not afraid the ghost. It is good to remember that. He nice and as his flash like day. Hard work covered always day.